welcome now we are learning analysis of doubly reinforced beam uh, doubly reinforced beam is the beam in which reinforcements are provided on both the sides of the section on compression side as well as on the tension side when we provide uh, reinforcement on both the sides of the section it is called as doubly reinforced beam now analysis of doubly reinforced beam is uh, very important to understand because the effect of compression reinforcement on the strength and behavior is important part to learn as we go for doubly reinforced beam we require less concrete to resist the t thereby moving the neutral axis tensile force t is nothing but area of the tensile steel multiplied by the yield stress in the <coughs> steel and for maintaining equilibrium compressive force c is equal to tensile force c uh, is equal to tensile force t now <coughs> effect of compression reinforcement on the strength and behavior in single reinforced case uh, <coughs> compressive force in concrete is only considered in case of a doubly reinforced section since there is a <coughs> reinforcement available on compression side so total compression is divided into two part first is compression due to compressive concrete and compression force because of compression steel so the compressive force is nothing but addition of compressive force due to concrete plus compressive force because of steel now why we are providing the compression reinforcement because of compression reinforcement uh, <coughs> the uh, deflection is reduced second thing grip of the concrete in the compression zone also reduces now <coughs> compression steel is taking sufficient load so reduced in the cross reduction in the cross section is uh, is possible uh, because of compression steel reduced stresses in the concrete less grip less sustained load and deflection <clears throat> there are four possible modes of failure of the doubly reinforced beam as far as under reinforced failure is concerned we divide into case 1 and case 2 case 1 is compression and tension steel yields case number 2 only tension steel yields now the second category of uh, failure second mode of failure is over reinforced failure in case of a over reinforced failure as you know the percent of reinforcement is more in this over reinforced failure we take case 3 and case 4 in case 3 we consider compression failure of uh, steel <coughs> by yielding case number 4 no yielding uh, concrete crushes now analysis of doubly reinforced section uh, we take rectangular section strain comparability check is very essential and that we can take by uh, comparing the equivalent triangles now <coughs> strain comparability using equilibrium equation we compare tensile force because of tensile reinforcement to the total compressive force and from this we are going to find out a factor c now <coughs> strain comparability the strain in the compression steel is calculated at the level of steel strain comparability <coughs> must confirm the yields strain comparability comparability must confirm the yield criteria now as we find out the c confirm that tension steel has yielded if the statement is true we can we can find out the moment of resistance of the section return back to the original equilibrium equations and compare rearrange the equations and find out a quadratic equation after finding out the quadratic equation find out the solve the quadratic equation and find the value of c after finding out value of c we find out 
the stress in steel at the level of steel. Check, check the tension steel. Another option is to compute the stresses in the compression steel using the iterative formula. Find out again total tens uh, tensile force and compare it with total compressive force. Compute the moment of resistance. Thank you.